in a small northwest Iowa town. The storm like times weaves the fabric of the community in large ways and small. Yeah, right. <laughs> We're on deadline. We're ready to put it on the page. I get real uptight about deadlines. Readers decide our future, not any branch of government. We have happy stories about all types of people. You're a singing star. <laughs> Most people in Storm Lake care about community. Hey, guys. But how long does a community support journalism? Because now people want to get their news for free, and people are saying, oh, well, that's not worth a dollar. And that's not how you sustain a democracy. <laughs> We've always operated at the break-even point. Seven dollars. Mom and pop stores that were the basis of our advertising are gone. How else do you make a small community survive? All the meat packing plants are infected with COVID. No one's even talking about testing at this point. How sickening it is forcing immigrant workers into a deadly workplace. And to me, there are blatant forms of racism and there are subtler forms of racism, but it's racism all the same. We were the first ones to say a number of Tyson employees tested positive. And then there was this dramatic spike and it was unbelievable. We're continuing to report on the numbers as best we can. Now, Storm Lake is the hottest spot in the country. It's been a pretty stressful time, and we're losing money, and there ain't a thing you can do about it. Our ads fell off a cliff. It doesn't make a lot of sense to go borrow money when we could just walk away from it now. You can change the world through journalism. The reporter is the cornerstone in a functioning democracy. And without strong local journalism, the fabric of the place becomes frayed. The prospect of the newspaper not being around terrifies me. So if we do the right things here, we'll be all right. So let's get that story.